applause. Yay! Yay! So, I just want to tell you all right now, how are you guys doing tonight? Pretty good. Pretty good. So tired of Ray. How are you feeling, Dunn? So excited, I just can't hide it. Raj? Excited too. How was L.A.? It was good. I can tell you were just there. It was wedding, so. I see, but did you have a good time? Yeah, I definitely had a good time. how are you feeling? Pretty cool. Chill. Yeah, so I just want to tell you right now, we got one week and a half left of school left. Oh. And you know, you know what that means for us? Finals. <laughs> oh. Today, fun in the sun. And also today, I want to tell you what I did today. I woke up at around 2 o'clock because I was extremely tired. <laughs> what today's the sandwiches. And I noticed that one of the workers can't work for a whole three weeks because he has a whole trip he has to go through. And also, what Mario tells me a lot, every time I pop in to get something, he's like, you working today? You working today? And I was like... Wow, you just, I know he cares about me, but I'm just like, if I work too much, you know what that means? I'm missing all the fun. You know all know that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Also today, what, um, oh. who's calling? Oh, dang. Bad dog. Uh, Rob? Al Chez's phone. Hello? Hello, can I help you? Uh, this is Rob. Um, is Al Chez there? Uh, hold on one second, I will get Mr. Chez for you. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Al Chez is the old guy who played the trumpet section. You can see this orchestra. The, he was a Seabus Moon Orchestra on oh, the Light Show with David King! So Yay! nice! Yay! Yay! It was rough. Are you really Al Chez? Oh my Hello? god. Hey, Al, is Al? you? What's that? Hey, it is. Hey, Al, so you're on, you're on, you're on the air right now. We're doing a late show. Um, I'm Rob, and here's Don Schaefer. What's that, man? How you doing? Don! Not the Don Schaefer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. Your name is David oh. Al, is this really you? This is really me. What's up, guys? I'm good. Um, I would really like you to be the um, the um, one of the trumpet players for my t the late show tonight. Thank you very much for calling. That was a surprise. Top show in Palo Alto. <laughs> you, you guys. You guys rock. You guys out there in California doing your late show. Let's see. Uh, I just wanted to uh, get on the phone and say, you know, congratulations on your 12, uh, your 12 shows, and uh, you know, yeah. great, great going, guys. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Um. Well, so you started the CBS Orchestra show with David Letterman, and like. Um, like, you finished in 2012, uh, along with Bruce, and uh, I'm like, how was it being in the CBS Orchestra? Oh, it was great, man. You know, I, I had done, um, a, a bunch of shows, uh, for, um, when, when they were on NBC. Um, me and Bruce both started doing late shows in, like, 1986 oh, wow. is when we first, is when we started doing, uh, you know, I think we did our first one, we backed, uh, Tony Tony Childs in like 1986, and we did about maybe 40, 42 uh, um, shows when it was on NBC for the the late night with David Letterman. And then when Dave when Dave moved to, to CBS, I was actually out in California playing with a band called Tower of Power, and then the and the Robert Cray band. As, as Don Schaefer knows all them guys, right, Don? You already know it. I'll have to question, David. Oh, um, so let me ask you a quick question. Have you, like, you have met David Lerman before? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like, how, how is he? Is he okay? Is he like? I know he's retired. He has that beard. I can tell. <laughs> I, I, I've never met the beard. Um, but you know, but, but I did. Yes, I have. I have met David Letterman uh, met many times. He's a great guy. You know, here, here, here's here's some great David Letterman facts that nobody knows. All right, guys. Yeah, okay. Here you go. When when first of all, my favorite David Letterman story. When 9/11 hit New York City, oh, yes, okay. Uh -huh. um, uh, Giuliani called. Uh, actually, Letterman called Giuliani and he said, you know, you know, is there anything I can do to help? And what happened is our, our local. Um, fire department that was right down the street from from the late show they had a fire engine that was actually pushed uh, three stories below the ground from the force of the building pit. and um, Letterman went and he bought that that uh, fire company 
two fully equipped state-of-the-art wow. fire engines. Wow. Okay? Yeah. Wow. Now, I, I don't know if you know how much those fire engines are, but they're $11 million each oh, for yeah. fully equipped state-of-the-art. He bought them, too, and you never read about it in a newspaper. You didn't see it on wow, TV. Cool. He wow. just, you know, sent it to him, and he wanted to send it to him anonymously because he said that's what needed to be to happen. So that's that's the kind of guy David Letterman is. Another thing, um, Alan, is um, so you know when you 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 when um, Letterman was in the um, was in the uh, um, you know the audience, and he said, "Paul, Granny's in the cellar." And then you raise your hand, saying, "Oh my, oh my word, Alan says, Alan says knows that." Uh, do you do you like that song, Granny's in the Shelf Cellar? Uh, I love I love Granny's in the cellar. Come on, man. Yeah. Granny's in the cellar. I know they like smell. Right? From about half a mile away. Half a mile away. I love that. Yeah, that was really good. <laughs> Um, and here's my brother. So, um, Al, like, remember the part when the intro was on? I went, Paul Schaefer and the CBS Orchestra. I remember, um, was this you? Like, I remember, like, next to Paul, he was like this, and Felicia was over here, and I remember you were you were next to Paul, and you were like, calling the phone like like that. Because uh, I remember I was like, who's that guy calling the phone? <laughs> <laughs> uh, every time, every time, if you notice that, when, when they did the closing credits, I always, I always would, would hit the uh, the concert E flat, oh, yeah. um, the, the, the long high note, and then I would take, I would take my right hand, uh, and I would hit my chest, okay, and that was kind of my I love you to my wife that I would do every night <laughs> oh. on the show, and I and I did that every night for 15 years. Oh, uh -huh. oh cool. Nice. Woo. Uh, uh, I got it off. Oh, from the studio. Oh, there you go. Um, another thing, Al, I want to tell you um, a couple more things. Um, like, in 2012, when you left the CBS Orchestra, like, were you sad? No, it was, t it was, it was time to go. I, you know, I just didn't re-sign my contract for the last go-around. It was kind of, you know, replaced, you? Um, you know, business stuff and, and everything at, at that point. You know, we, we knew the show was, was ending, and, um, you know, there was one more one more contract cycle for us to sign, and I was like, at that point, I decided I, I didn't want to go all the way to the end of the show. That I wanted to get other business things happening. So when the show ended, I was left. I wasn't left with anything. So it, uh -huh. it, it was totally cool. And uh, Bruce Kapler, he uh, he just like what happened to him? He couldn't you know play or something? Or, yeah. Yeah. Br well, Bruce had a, uh, a problem with his teeth. Oh. Okay. And uh, he was cool. And he, he yeah, it was it was really. Um, he was kind of told not to not to play the saxophone anymore, oh, so man. he he kind of was kind of he kind of like force retired. Oh, okay. but Bruce is doing great, man. Bruce, oh, is, you were Bruce lives up great. in uh, it, you should see his house in Bear Mountain, New York, and he uh, he cooks all the time, and he's got a garden, and he walks around in his pajamas a lot. <laughs> <laughs> like me on Saturday. And then um, and so uh, um, you know Tom Malone, he's cool. I know Tom. Uh, um, how's he doing? <laughs> Tom, uh, I haven't seen Tom. Like I said uh, uh, before, I think Tom is like searching his house and, and trying to find out where his pants and his teeth are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. You know, Frank Green actually used to live in San Jose. And also, uh, we're um, you, uh, you also know the Frank Frank Green. Yeah, I know Frank. Uh, he used to live in San Jose, not too far away from us, actually. Ah, so what, what, what town are you guys in? Uh, we're in Palo Alto, California, the Bay Area. Top show in Palo Alto. Oh, that's, 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 that's where the crazy people are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But my, my, wife's from, my wife's from L.A. Uh, cool. Uh. So, uh, yeah, man. She's, oh, she's a valley girl. There you go. Uh. <laughs> um, and um, 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 one, um, one, um, one other thing. Um, have you seen Will Lee, Sid McGinnis, or Anton Figg recently? Yeah, I, I play golf with Anton all the time. Uh, oh, I haven't oh, seen him in a while. <laughs> yeah, Anton, Anton, Anton's out playing with Joe Badamasso. Nice. You ever hear of, uh, or if you see Joe Badamasso <laughs> coming to, to the West Coast. And uh, Will Lee is a, uh, you know, did you, you ever play, um, it's Abble Dabble, it's like a Scrabble game on your phone? Oh, I haven't got that yet. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> me and me and Willie have been playing Scrabble for about I'd say about twelve years now. As soon as oh, one really? game is over, we we start else. another one. Yeah, we we we've, we've had a Scrabble game going on uh, for about twelve, maybe twelve years. Wait. Oh dang. <laughs> Nice. A, my wife says it's way better than Scrabble. Uh -oh. <laughs> really long game so listen, guys, you got you got tonight's show, and then you got and, you, and then you got one more show, and then and then you're wrapping up the uh, the California version of the Late Show. Yes. 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 That's it. Well, you know, I, I just wanted to uh, you know answer the phone and, and, and tell you guys, great going, man. And, Thank you, and, you so know, much. we're all. Yeah. 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 Keep rocking, my boy. We will. And Al, thank you so much. And tell, and you, tell, you got it. tell as many people as you can. You've been called. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Take care, guys. So tight. Oh, yeah, thanks. Woo! Thank you. That's it, Brian. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's well, that's well guys, that well. was Al Chess. Yeah. He's played trumpet, right? Yeah. yeah. He played the trumpet, then it was Frank Green, and I can't wait to be called for out of applause. Woo! members of the late show with David Laramie. Yeah, that was just, I think it's the best I think intro of me just like taking a break of talking. <laughs> so also I just want to tell y'all right now, let's just make this holy shows the best. Okay. Woo. All right. Yeah, all right. Now I think we should just all just maybe I bet more about that up later. But yeah, the gentleman dire is dying. <laughs> Sponsored by Crush, we brush faster so you can.